How would you react if you discovered that an ancient Roman emperor's rule was so scandalous and outlandishly extravagant that it still puzzles historians today? Picture a ruler who despite a promising start, spiraled down a vortex of madness, leaving a trail of terror and perplexity. One can only imagine the shock and consternation his subjects must have experienced. This is the dramatic tale of Emperor Caligula, a man whose life was as astonishing and bewildering as his reign. Originally born as Gaius Julius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, the emperor we now refer to as Caligula had a far more endearing moniker in his early years. His entry into the world in the year 31 AD as part of the notable Julio-Claudian lineage marked the inception of a narrative veiled in enigma and political gambits. As a young boy, he was often seen adorning a scaled-down version of a soldier's uniform, a habit that gifted him his pseudonym, Caligula, or Little Boot. His journey to the emperor's seat was fraught with sorrow and cunning machinations. Following the mysterious deaths of his mother and siblings, Caligula's upbringing fell into the hands of Emperor Tiberius. This elderly emperor, infamous for his paranoia and harshness, evolved into an eccentric paternal role model. However, when Tiberius was no more, Caligula stepped out from the shadows and ascended the throne with a wave of public adoration. The charismatic young ruler they applauded was on the brink of a shocking transformation. Little did they anticipate the changes power would bring about in their beloved ruler. Caligula, the emperor of Rome, presided over a reign that was truly nothing short of peculiar. His rule was a cocktail of grandeur and madness, holding the city in a firm yet bewildering grasp. Caligula was a man of lavish tastes, a fact that was evident in his grand construction initiatives. Projects that included immense amphitheaters and expansive aqueducts were commissioned by him, transforming Rome into an ever-changing landscape. Caligula's Rome represented his unending desire for opulence. But perhaps his most audacious venture was the construction of an impressive floating bridge across the Bay of Baie. This three-mile-long pontoon bridge, crafted entirely from ships, was an emblem of his relentless pursuit of the spectacular. However, the grandeur was intertwined with an unsettling thread of insanity. Caligula declared himself a living deity, sending ripples of astonishment throughout Rome. The emperor was no longer merely a man, he was an immortal, walking among the mortals. But his madness extended even further. Among his infamous eccentricities, one that stands out was his decision to appoint his favorite horse, Incitatus, as a priest. Incitatus not only had his own dwelling, a marble stable, an ivory manger, but also a troop of catering to him. These peculiarities painted a vivid image of a leader unhinged, with a reign characterized by unpredictability. Caligula's reign was a spectacle, a grand performance that kept Rome in a state of constant anticipation. As Rome quivered under its erratic leader, a sense of impending darkness was creeping in. As we explore further into Caligula's rule, we will uncover the extent of this darkness and the frightful legacy it left behind. From a charismatic leader to a feared dictator, the transformation of Caligula's rule was a drastic one. As if possessed, the once revered emperor turned into a terrorizing figure. His regime, originally filled with optimism and prospect, plunged into a fearful nightmare. With his escalating paranoia, Caligula started envisioning foes in every corner, tormented by the shadow of plots, whether real or fabricated. This paranoia instigated savage purges within the Roman nobility. Senators, companions, even kin were not immune from his suspicion. They were indicted for treason, frequently baselessly, and had to face the executioner's sword. The once lively corridors of the Senate morphed into a silent crypt, its occupiers living in perpetual fear of Caligula's fury. His paranoia was equaled only by his burgeoning megalomania. Caligula started viewing himself as a living deity, an idea that was a rarity among Roman emperors. He insisted on being venerated, commissioning statues of his own in Rome's temples. He even professed to have dialogues with the gods, emphasizing his divine stature. Caligula's megalomania was further exposed by his limitless extravagance. He exhausted the Roman treasury on opulent feasts and ostentatious construction endeavors. He organized gladiatorial games on an unseen scale seemingly for his own entertainment. The Roman citizens, initially hopeful under his rule, 
were now suffering the brunt of his indulgences. As his regime continued, Caligula began to embody a monster rather than a man. His reign became synonymous with terror, his decisions fueled by paranoia and megalomania. His transformation into a tyrant was swift and brutal, leaving a bloodied trail of fear and death. As his insanity intensified, so did the terror within the empire. The aspirations of the Roman people for a peaceful reign were obliterated by Caligula's insanity. The transition into tyranny was absolute, permanently scarring Rome's fate. The finale of Caligula's reign was as dramatic and terrifying as the rule itself, marked by madness and terror. A conspiracy was the final act of this reign, a sinister plot stitched together by those closest to the emperor. The Praetorian Guard, the very soldiers who were duty-bound to safeguard him, reached the grim conclusion that Rome could no longer endure under the erratic, frequently brutal whims of Caligula. The plot's masterminds, led by Cassius Correa, a commander among the guards, seized their chance during the Palatine Games. An oblivious Caligula was taken by surprise. The outcome was immediate and ruthless. The emperor, who had governed with an iron grip, succumbed to the blades of his own guardians. The ensuing chaos from the assassination mirrored Caligula's own chaotic reign. Rome found itself cast into a sea of uncertainty. The citizens gripped with the fear of the unknown. Understanding the power vacuum their actions had caused, the Praetorian Guard swiftly declared Claudius, Caligula's uncle, as the new emperor. Initially perceived as a mere puppet of the Praetorian Guard, Claudius would ultimately emerge as a competent leader, restoring a sense of stability to the empire. Yet the specter of Caligula's reign loomed ominously, a potent reminder of the corrupting influence of absolute power. And thus, the reign of one of Rome's most notorious emperors came to a dramatic end. The tale of Caligula, a ruler defined by madness, terror, and a spectacular fall, would resonate throughout history, serving as a grim warning of the perils of unbridled power. Legacy, it is a powerful thing, especially when it is linked to such a personality as Caligula. His name, Caligula, is often associated with madness and tyranny, making his tale a legendary one. As the third Roman emperor, Caligula's legacy is a timeless saga which beautifully exhibits the charm of narrative and the human obsession with the grotesque. His depiction as a psychotic despot has been exhaustively scrutinized by scholars, each striving to decipher the enigma that was the man and his deeds. His governance, marked by prolific expenditure, merciless killings, and purported insanity, has indelibly etched itself in the historical records. Legendary tales of his extravagant existence, his endeavors to attain divinity, and his renowned steed Incitatus, whom he supposedly aimed to appoint as consul, continue to fascinate us. However, it's crucial to bear in mind that much of our knowledge about Caligula originates from chronicles written posthumously, often by individuals who had a stake in depicting him in a particular light. Although these tales add color to our understanding of Roman history, they may not be wholly precise. Caligula's impact continues to be felt in mainstream culture. His life has been the center of numerous books, cinematic experiences, and TV shows, each offering a unique perspective on his rule. From Robert Graves' historical fiction, I, Claudius, to the provocative film Caligula, masterminded by Tinto Brass, his narrative continues to enthrall people. His depictions range from a tragically flawed ruler, spiraling into insanity due to power, to the absolute malevolent despot. Regardless of the portrayal, his name invariably evokes visions of indulgence, brutality, and insanity. His turbulent and contentious rule is a stark reminder of the perils of unrestrained power and the inherent corruption it fosters. This is a cautionary tale that still echoes today, giving us a sobering glimpse into the seductive pull of supreme control and its destructive potential. Thus, Caligula's tale continues to intrigue us, serving as a potent reminder of the entrancing and devastating power of absolute authority. Peeling back the layers of Caligula's life, we encounter a labyrinth of complexities and eccentricities that extend beyond his infamous reign. As we delve deeper into the personal life of Caligula, we uncover his untold stories and lesser-known facts. Despite his reputation as a tyrant, Caligula was a man of refined tastes, appreciating the arts and literature. He was known to have a fondness for the theatrical arts, 
often participating in plays himself. His love for grandeur was exhibited not just in his rule, but also in his personal life, with his elaborate feasts and parties becoming the stuff of legends. However, beneath this flamboyant exterior lay a troubled mind. Many scholars have speculated about possible psychological disorders that could have influenced his erratic behavior. His sudden shifts from generosity to brutal violence, his delusions of grandeur, and his alleged conversations with the moon goddess Diana suggest possible symptoms of bipolar disorder or schizophrenia. Such hypotheses, while fascinating, are based on historical accounts that may not be entirely accurate or unbiased. In addition, there have been theories suggesting that Caligula might have been suffering from a physical illness. Some historians propose that Caligula was afflicted with hyperthyroidism, a condition that can lead to severe behavioral changes. Others suggest that he may have contracted neurosyphilis, a disease known to cause dementia and psychosis. However, without concrete medical evidence, these theories remain speculative. In the end, Caligula remains an enigma, a fascinating character study of power and madness intertwined. His life and reign continue to captivate us, serving as a stark reminder of the intoxicating allure of absolute power and the devastating consequences it can yield. As we continue to dissect the life and legacy of Caligula, we are reminded of the timeless allure of his tale and the enduring mystery that surrounds the man behind the legend. Caligula's life, filled with opulence, madness, and terror, is a tale that continues to captivate us. Even today, the enigma that was Caligula intrigues scholars and history enthusiasts alike. His reign, marked by a potent mix of grandeur and insanity, serves as a stark reminder of the destructive potential of absolute power. The lessons learned from his rule are numerous and timeless, highlighting the dangers of unchecked authority and the devastating impact it can have on society. In the wake of Caligula's reign, the Roman Empire was left in a state of turmoil and disarray. His extravagant spending and erratic behavior had depleted the treasury, leading to a period of financial crisis. His reign also marked a turning point in the history of the Roman Empire, setting the stage for the eventual decline of the Julio-Claudian dynasty. As we ponder on the what-ifs of history, we are left to wonder how different the course of the Roman Empire might have been had Caligula's reign been different. Would the empire have flourished under a more stable rule? Or was its decline inevitable? These questions, while intriguing, remain speculative, adding further layers to the enigma that was Caligula. As we bid adieu to the tale of Caligula, we are left with a chilling reminder of the perils of absolute power and the fascinating enigma that was Caligula. His story, filled with grandeur, madness, and terror, continues to captivate us, serving as a stark reminder of the intoxicating allure of absolute power and the devastating consequences it can yield.